Welcome in to another refried video. Just wanted to make a quick video talking about five dark horse MVPs going into the 2023 baseball season. At number five with a plus 13,000 odds is O'Neill Cruz. Perhaps the most gifted athlete in all of baseball, Cruz hit the hardest ball ever in StatCast history at 122.4 miles an hour and threw the fastest ball by an infielder in StatCast history at 97.8 miles an hour last season as a rookie. The 6'7 shortstop has proven that all he needs to do is stick his bat out to hit home runs as evident by this at bat from his winter this offseason. His baseball savant page is full of red sliders. He is in the 100th percentile of average exit velo, 98th percentile in sprint speed, 97th percentile in arm strength, and 96th percentile in barrel rate. He has a legit shot at 40-40, and his size and speed is one of one. If he can cut down on strikeouts and up his on-base skills, he could dominate the league and easily win the NL MVP. Coming in at number four with plus 10,000 odds, White Sox outfielder Aloy Jimenez. If Aloy can stay healthy and play a full season for once, he can put up enormous power numbers. A full season from Aloy could result in 50 plus homers and the White Sox are definitely due for a bounce back season. Last year he cut down on his strikeouts, upped his on base percentage to 358, and for a career hitter of 276 with a career 500 slug, that could result in a 50 homer season batting 280 with 100 plus RBI as a best case scenario. After the All-Star break last year, Jimenez was a truer version of his old self from 2019 and 2020. He hit 323 with a 948 OPS while maintaining a WOBA above 400. He's only 26, and if he can get to 600 plate appearances or more, watch out. At number 3 with plus 20,000 odds, Orioles outfielder Cedric Mullins. Cedric stole 34 bags in 22 while hitting only 16 dingers. He didn't provide the pop from his 2021 season, but he proved he still has elite wheels. The Orioles are now a legitimate team with young stars everywhere. With Gunnar Henderson and Adley Rushman now in the fold full-time, more opportunities to get more at-bats and score more runs awaits Mullins. He had a down year in 2022, but his 2021 was elite. He went 30 for 30 with a 291 average and an 878 OPS. I also like the Orioles as the 2025 World Series champs. Put it down now. Once Jackson Holiday joins the squad, it's over. Coming in at number two with plus 6,000 odds, Luis Robert. He has yet to play more than 98 games in a season, but his 162 game average is 26 homers, 19 steals, while batting 289 with a nearly 500 slug. That stat line is already all-star worthy, and he is as gifted a player as you will see. A healthy season could result in 30-plus homers and 30-plus steals. He was top 4% in the league in 2020 in average sprint speed, and his max exit velo is in the 99th percentile. 2023 could be a huge breakout year if he avoids injury for the Southsiders. At number 1, with plus 7,000 odds, my dude, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Jazz was on pace for a 35 homer, 30 steal season in 2022 before a lower back stress fracture ended his season. If he can be the first guy to go 40 40 since Soriano in 2006, he has a legitimate chance of being the NL MVP. He might have the best left handed stroke in the game as well, and he definitely has the most charisma. Jazz had an 860 OPS in only 60 games last season and looked like he figured out big league pitching. If he can hit close to 270 with the steals and the power, 
he has a legitimate shot. If Jazz goes 40 for 40, he'll be the consensus number one player in fantasy baseball next season too. He's moving from second base to center field with the arrival of Luis Arise in Miami. If you don't believe me that he can win the MVP, just ask Jazz what he thinks himself. People can't wait for your season, man. They're excited. A uh, full season of Jazz Chisholm is going to be absolutely He's healthy, man. Stay oh, healthy. Stay a full healthy. season of Jazz Chisholm is an MVP.